So, <clears throat> a slasher flick where pretty much the entire cast is black. I am really glad I watched the films of Jordan Peele uh, before I saw this, so I can properly appreciate it. The Blackening. <clears throat> it's a pretty simple uh, setup. A group of friends go to a cabin in the woods, expecting to party and get blitzed out of their minds, only to find uh, a seemingly old and very inappropriate looking board game <clears throat> that seems to have a life of its own, only to reveal the game is that of the most dangerous variety, and their goal is to survive by any means necessary. <clears throat> um, when I first saw the uh, trailer, I thought to myself, okay, is this going to be a parody or is this going to be taken seriously? <clears throat> Luckily, it was taken seriously and this caused the uh, suspense and comedy, not to mention drama, to be balanced pretty well, <clears throat> although a few more uh, gags, like the one that really got me chuckling, no spoilers, but you'll know it when you see it, <clears throat> would have been appreciated. Um, <clears throat> the characters are all quirky and have a decent level of depth in their own way, but the villain... No spoilers, but the villain was kind of a masterstroke. <clears throat> you want to feel sorry for that person, but at the same time, you wonder why they were so easily driven to uh, this situation. Because if they had just had slightly thicker skin, they probably wouldn't have ended up the way they did. Um, there's not a lot of gore effects. Um, <clears throat> there's one bit at the beginning and uh, very little throughout. But I think that's okay because the, um, the true horror comes from uh, the shadows, really. Because <clears throat> this killer isn't uh, Leatherface. This killer is um, more like Michael Myers. Stalking from the shadows, but quipping like Fred Krueger. So this is sort of pays homage to various uh, slasher flicks. <clears throat> and does not uh, 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 tie itself to one trope or another. It thumbs its nose at the various tropes. <clears throat> um, the uh, story itself is fairly tight. The film's about 90 minutes long and it basically takes you on a journey. You're in the thick of it with the cast as they try to survive. And if this movie was done in 3D, people would be ducking. Because let's just say um, <clears throat> the killer's main weapon is um, very old, but also very effective. <clears throat> and the backstory of said killer uh, it really has nothing to do with uh, the weapon of choice but <clears throat> I'd like to think there was some tie in because the guy's the character's backstory is fairly compelling 
but no spoilers. Um, yeah, it's heavy on profanity, <clears throat> but as long as you're not too sensitive to that, the story itself is pretty solid. Um, I really felt for the characters as they went through their ordeal. <clears throat> I didn't want any of them to die, really. <clears throat> um, so yeah, overall, this was a pretty solid slasher flick that paid homage to the classics of Wes Craven and John Carp Carpenter and... Um, uh, <clears throat> let's see, what else? Oh, um, and of course, the Friday the 13th franchise. Not to mention, um, modern stuff like Scream, <clears throat> which I know is a John Carpenter thing, but I was talking about the classics from Carpenter, not the modern stuff. But yeah, um, If you enjoy watching tropes get turned on their ears and enjoy playing Spot the Reference, um, give this a shot. You might even find a couple of Saw references. <clears throat> this is Mr. J signing out and reminding you, happy Juneteenth. Thanks to this new holiday, I got the day off. Thank you, Emancipation. And yes, I'm white. And <clears throat> I'm trying not to get canceled from this reveal. So please take what I say in stride. I'm not going to offend anyone. Well, I'm not going to try to offend anyone. Thank you. Goodbye. <clears throat>